What is up guys, Archon Tsunami here bringing you guys another World of Warcraft video. In today's video we're going to be breaking down the 8.2 PTR changes that we have so far. I kind of want to document these as we go so we can kind of see where Blizzard ends up compared to where they started. So let's go ahead and break it down. Uh, Demon Hunter Vengeance is getting some changes. These changes look to be directed towards making them more tanky outside of Demon Spikes by increasing Demonic Wards' damage reduction to 15% as well as the armor to 100% while nerfing Demon Spikes a little bit so that way you're not too defensive with Demon Spikes by 25% of your agility. So let's reduce from 85 to 60. Uh, I don't know where this is going to leave Demon Hunter. It would be nice though because I have seen Demon Hunter struggle tanking. I think these changes may help them a little bit while not having Demon Spikes up. I have heard that not having it up makes you feel really squishy. I can only hope that this gets them on the right path. Uh, Druid is up next. They are gaining the ability to cast Remove Corruption and Soothe while both in Feral and Guardian forms. Uh, Feral is losing the ability to cast its B-Res in Feral form. Uh, I'm not sure why that's a thing. Uh, I'm pretty sure that it's going to get people killed, more or less. If that makes any sense, because they already have a cast time on their Rebirth ability to B-Res, whereas Guardian was instant. And I think Guardian is still instant. It doesn't say Guardian's lost the ability to cast... Instant uh, B res, so kind of interesting. I'm not sure how this is really going to affect Feral because they're already struggling, as far as I know. Uh, I think this will help Guardian in a big way, being able to cast, you know, remove corruption and soothe while staying in bear form. I think that's going to be pretty huge for them. Uh, Guardian's also getting a buff in the form of Iron Fur and Maul, costing 5 less Rage to use, which is an even number, which I prefer having instead of having these weird offset numbers. To where now it only costs, you know, 80 total Rage instead of 90 to use both abilities if you wanted to somehow use both. Bangle now generates 10 Rage instead of 8, which is another whole number, which I definitely like. Um, Iron Fur is supposed to be maintained 100% of the time is what they want. And right now it kind of struggles to do so. They also say that it should overlap as well, which I do sometimes struggle with, depending on how many targets are there. Uh, shifting to bear form now gives you 25 rage, was 20 initially. These will also help with the iron fur changes as well. So you need only 15 rage to get there instead of 20. Actually you need 25 before, so you only need 15 now. Mangle and Thrash's damage is going up, just the direct damage that they hit, not the dot on Thrash. So you should be able to hold aggro a little easier. Beast Mastery is up next. They fixed an issue with Bestial Wrath and then reduced its damage to offset the bug that they fixed, which is kind of interesting. I'm not sure why you would even bother fixing the bug if you uh, were just going to nerf the damage anyway to keep it where it's at. That's an interesting idea. I guess maybe it's in case they want to buff Barb Shot later on or there's some type of neck piece buff that gives it the ability to buff Barb Shot. I'm not too sure. Just an interesting uh, little fix that they did. Outlaw Rogue is next with Keep Your Wits About You. Uh, they're changing how Blade Flurry works with it. Instead of getting a stack per target hit, it's now getting it per Blade Flurry hit. And this is to help reduce their AoE a little bit while also still giving them a stronger AoE push with two targets instead of multiple. If that makes any sense. So you'll deal more damage to two targets, but you'll deal less damage to three or more targets. So they're just hitting the AoE really hard here. Protection Warriors are also getting hit here. Right now, uh, Thunderclap deals a lot of damage, and they want to kind of get away from that. So they're going to reduce the damage that Thunderclap does by 50%. Because right now, Proud Warrior just deals stupid, insane DPS, more so than any other tank. So yeah. These are the 8.2 changes we've gotten so far. Uh, I've also seen something before that I thought was related to 8.2, but I could be wrong, but it had Frost listed as well. And they had changes to where Killing Machine was moving off a prox per minute. Rather, Syndragosa was increasing by 5 to use, but it also changed how Runic Empowerment interacted with it to where it doubled the proc rate whenever Breath fired off. Which I think I did the math, it was like a 70% chance to regenerate Rune, which is crazy. That plus uh, Frozen Talons for kill more killing machine procs with it being off the procs per minute system could see just insane amounts of damage during breath. 
especially when you use Empower Rune Weapon and get a rune back there, at least four runes back per the duration, then you have a chance of getting one off of the Breath of Cindergosa, at least a 70% chance. So there could be some insane damage machine gun builds coming back, which will be interesting if that's true, what I seen earlier. I don't know if it's related to 8.2 or not. But anyway, sorry guys, I'm sure you guys can hear it in my voice. I'm a little sick right now. But anyway, I'm going to head out of here. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think down below of these changes. If you play any of these classes, let me know what you think about them. How they're going to affect your class and whatnot. And I will see you guys in the next video. Later. Thanks for watching.